What's up? Close next is Zhao. Third segment. We already have a board event. Whoops, wrong, wrong one. No spoilers. What's SDAM? I don't know what SDAM is, but Sadam. Six diamonds bidden probably made at both tables. Let me clean up some windows that I have open. Well, what's it looking like? Uh, east, west, need to rough a club in the west hand, and then this is just a claimer. Six diamonds always makes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Six diamonds always makes. Okay, well, first board out of the box, Kolesnik is trailing by 28 um, with 30 boards to play. So they have some work to do if they want to make it back to be USA 1. And we should see a push on this board. Is that right? Hold on. Is Declare... Is Declare ever in trouble here? Do we have... No, no, they, they can pitch the blocking king of spades on the second diamond. So De Declare, I think, needs to go like Ace of spades, spade to the queen. Once that holds, club rough, diamond, diamond, pitching the blocking spade, and then they're good. They have put themselves in a bit of a difficult spot, though. So club rough, uh, declare does need to be careful. Uh, the hand is definitely not over yet, but club rough, declare will need to cash exactly one spade. I don't know if there is a more careful way to play this. Very possible that earlier, declare could have been a bit more careful about how they manage their entries. But I suspect at this point that east should find the line of play that works. Taking a quick think to try and, you know, see is there any way that I can avoid this difficulty of cashing the second spade, it might get roughed. I believe Declare is going to figure out the correct line, so last test, you need to cash one spade here to unblock the suit. The heart hook works if they want it. Um, I see. So you're saying just pull trumps, pitching a heart, and play a heart to the jack. That's that is also correct. They they could do this, but it looks like Declare has come up with the right line. Cash one spade. Now they just need to be careful, and notice that they can unblock the ace of spades under two diamonds. But there could be a blind spot. You know, sometimes you just look at these block suits and think, oh, I have to unblock them now before pulling trumps. If Declare tries the ace of spades, they're going to go down, which would be a much needed swing to Kolesnik. That would put him right back into the match. And I guess I misquoted Craig. He should be back shortly. I know that he's everyone's favorite commentator. People don't come here to watch me. They come to watch Craig. And we will have to see this hand that he requested I analyze. Probably take a look at it during break. Declare thinking, it's possible that they have, may have missed this this idea of unblocking the ace of spades on the second round of diamonds. We'll 
We'll wait and see. Let's uh, take a look at the auction real quick. Two clubs, two diamonds, three no trump, 25 to 27. Four clubs with stamen. I think that's pretty popular. Four hearts showing hearts. Five no trump pick the slam. Six diamonds. Uh, we have found a side four, four diamond fit, it looks like. Declare does lead a diamond. Cash is another diamond. Oh, they didn't see the, the unblock of the Ace of Spades, but the heart hook does work out. So a bit of a blind spot by Declara there. Sometimes there are ways to unblock a suit without playing it. You can discard the blocking cards. No harm when the Queen of Hearts was on side. One no by West, 15 to 17. No way, North takes a call. And what do we do with East? I think there's arguments for passing a no trump. You could transfer to clubs and drop your partner. I always just prefer to let partner play a no trump on these sorts of hands. I don't know if that's the right style, but if we have a club fit, then we probably are making of a no trump. It reminds you of those double dummy problems where you need to cash the ace king queen, pitching the ace king queen. Yeah, there are some there are some fun ones like that. Um, so two spades is clubs or a range ask. Three clubs is a maximum. Like I was saying, I think I would personally prefer to just let partner play a no trump. It's often easier to get to seven tricks than it is to get to nine, um, even when you have a trump fit. Sometimes you're just like off the first five caching tricks and one no trump was making on the nose. And of course in match points, I would much rather be in a spot that offers us a chance at plus 120 or plus 150. Um, right, so they, they aren't playing this as a club transfer. There's no, uh, I think this is pretty common nowadays, at least in the US. Th this is what I play with most of my partners, two spades as clubs or a range ask. Um, so you don't find out about fitting club cards, you only find out if partner's minimum or maximum. Which is still fine. I think if East elected to bid three no trump over three clubs, saying, I have a six card suit, partner's maximum, if my king of spades is an entry in the club setup, then we have ch chances in three no trump, that would be an okay hand evaluation. But I think my personal preference would be to just check out a no trump on those cards. Other room did reach three no and made it. I'm going to take a quick peek at the other table just to see who's sitting there. It is uh, Fish, Grossack, and Finn Klesnick against Richard Zhang and Brent Chow. Ooh, I, what I, I do want to, so it was, it was a 28 imp uh, lead. Let's put up a prediction for who's going to win this segment. Who will win uh, Q3? Um, Kolesnik or Zhao? There you go. Time for the daily gamble. In three clubs, looks like Declare still has two spade losers. Maybe only one spade loser. They can take a diamond hook into the north hand. 
it's a bit difficult to manage all of their entries here. Maybe the right line of play is king of clubs, run the ten of diamonds. You can afford a club, oh no, you can't afford a club, a diamond, and a spade loser. Hmm. Well, I suppose you're probably going to have to cross to the diamond ace and take that club hook then. That's probably the... the normal line of play. King of clubs and running the ten of diamonds is not that crazy. Maybe that's why I was, I was thinking it. Because if the jack of clubs drops, you're good. Otherwise, you can, um, you could just take a diamond hook, and when that works, you do get a spade discard. Hey, Tigger88, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Diamond to the Jack does have something going for it. I, I think I would prefer to cash the King of Clubs first, right? Oh, uh, no, th this order is much better, right? You, you take the Diamond Hook. If it works, then you can cash the Club King and then pitch your Spade Loser. If the Diamond Hook doesn't work, then... Um, then you need the club hook. With the club hook on, it's hard to imagine the defense giving Declare much of a problem. I. I don't know what I would do with North. It is imps, we're trying to beat the contract. Maybe, I suppose we play partner for the, I don't know. Leading a club doesn't help. Because we know as North that we, we have to follow to basically every diamond. So even if Declare misguesses the club suit and goes king of clubs, diamond is most testing. Doesn't like even if Declare. I, I suppose you're you're thinking if Declare like runs the diamond suit, pitching two spades, then you might get a rough with South, and then also the jack of clubs. Yeah, I think I think I I agree with that on this layout. Probably just counting the high cards. I mean, West has showed a maximum and has turned up with so far the club queen and the I was not paying attention to the hearts, but very little else. Um North should know the diamond position, ace-king-jack, after that ten of diamonds run to the queen. There it is. There is a diamond exit. It's a very good defense by North. Declare, of course, has to cash a diamond, at least pitching a spade, and then we'll have a decision to make. Do we take the club hook? Do we play another diamond pitching a spade? So this could be a big swing. The other table, and there it is. King of diamonds, south roughs, exits anything. No way back to the west hand to try the club hook. Yeah, very, very good defense. Twelve imps to Kolesnik. And now they're only down sixteen. I agree. I, I think part of it is also just the tempo of the play. Like, North spent a long time thinking and came up with the defense that actually gives us a problem. 
right? Like if North plays the Ace of Spades, we don't have a problem. If North exits a club, I mean, we just, we do something. Whatever that something is, I don't, I don't know exactly what. But when the defenders find the most difficult defense for us, it often means they have most of the defensive assets. Um, so the fact that North found this complicated defense probably suggests that they have most of the defensive assets, the spade ace and the club jack. So I do like the club finesse for that reason as well. Spade by North. Three club over call. Three clubs seems fine. Uh, you do have a singleton spade, but the rest of the hand leaves much to be desired. Three spades by South is actually quite interesting. It is very risky to go for a double, or to go after the opponents, if um, if you have a fit with your partner's major. Because North could easily have a six card spade suit, and if it does go spade three clubs, pass, pass, double, all pass. You know, you have nine spades, they might have eight or nine clubs. You could just be making a game, and the opponents are going down one or something, or even making. Right? You only have two club tricks. So three clubs does put South in a bit of a bind. Uh, I'm okay with three spades. I, I might have passed, um, but I'm not certain. Just because the ace, queen of clubs are not exactly great offensive assets, you may take no tricks with them on offense. And even if you just get one, it's going to be opposite partner's shortness. But North now has a tough choice to make. I mean, I mean, North is definitely bidding. I don't know what. North could easily consider five clubs. Maybe it's exclusion. I think a lot of people play exclusion is required to be a jump, so this might just be like a first round control showing Qubit. South, of course, just <laughs> wants to bid four spades over this and might try clicking on that button on the uh, iPad a few times before realizing that it's grayed out. But South will just bid five spades. How do we do in this contract? It looks like it's probably okay. Declare is going to need to be a little careful. They have two entries to take two diamond hooks. The, the fourth round of hearts is an entry. And the Ace of Clubs is going to be useful for a Diamond discard. Ooh, alerted as exclusion, maybe. I think, I think I'm with Emma on this. Especially if this was undiscussed, I would never... <sighs> well, this contract is not going to make. So Kolesnik did well on the previous board. Not going to do so hot on this one. But Five Spades was already going to be a difficult contract to play. I, I think Declare should have a good time of it. They'll be able to cross to the Queen Ten of Spades once and lead a diamond up, and then eventually after pulling trumps, cross to the Nine of Hearts to lead another diamond. Or maybe they were just getting a club opening lead. Jacob thought five clubs was Gerber. <laughs> I'm not sure that was the was the thought process. I 
I'm wondering if the big issue here was the three spade bid from South. I, it, to me, it just looks a little too aggressive with most of your values in the opponent's suit um, to show some sort of forward going bid. You know that if your partner's short in clubs, they're going to like their hand, and it looks like they are short in clubs. Also, Declare seems to have gotten themselves in a bit of a bind, hopping up with that club ace immediately. Now that the spades aren't breaking, he's going to go down extras. Wes gets to win, put another club on the table. Oh, maybe he's not going down extras. Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is, right? I suppose he just wasn't thinking that clubs could be seven, could be six, three. If West was down to just red suits, he would have to exit a red suit and declare could pull trumps, but now that another club comes, declare does have to go down an extra trick. I'm not sure what the harm was in sticking in the club queen, but maybe he was just, you know, he took one look at the dummy, realized he was going down, and was disappointed. Ended up playing a little too quickly. Down two, and 12 imps back to Zhao. So they're maintaining a 28 imp lead at this point in the match. Did anyone vote in the prediction? No, no one voted. East passes. South gonna pass probably, west should be opening. And then what does north do? North does have this 15 count red, opposite of past partner, do you overcall a no trump? My guess is no. It can depend on your opening style. If south could have up to like 10 or a good 11, then you probably have to. If south can't have a hand where game has play, then I don't think you do. Brad says yes. I mean, South's gonna game force this hand, which looks okay. Two clubs, two diamonds, three no. I, I would game force the hand of South. There it is, three no trump. And how does this do? If Declare picks up the clubs, they're probably in good shape. Um, but we could see a low spade lead to the queen. That would be exciting. North would have to work out to duck that queen of spades. The jack of spades lead is also quite sensible, and of course if the jack of spades is led, then Declare probably has a better idea of what's going on. Jack of spades, small queen. Declare will have an easier time ducking. The load spade lead will have Declare getting clubs right. So, we've talked about this a bunch. You just, this is an automatic queen of spades play. It's a, as, as Craig would say if he was here, you're hemorrhaging imps by hopping up with the ace there. Um, but it, it does make Declare's life a lot easier when you go ace of spades, queen of spades. Now they, they know they can safely duck the second round.
So Brad thinks that Declare is going to get clubs raid. Is that because we have four clubs, two diamonds, two hearts, and a spade, even if we miss guess? That seems correct to me. I also really hate this three of spades play from East. In these spots, it's often very important for Declare to try and figure out the count on the hand. So when you lead the four of spades, you're telling them that's your fourth best one. Now Declare knows spades are 5-3. Declare probably should figure it out regardless. When it goes ace of spades, queen of spades, then the deuce. West would have won the ace and returned the deuce if spades were 4-4. Four, four. But you can cast a little bit of doubt into Declare's mind if you dumped like the ten of spades or jack of spades here. Ooh, jack of clubs to the queen does make Declare's life a little bit easier. Now we just knock out the ace of diamonds and claim our ten tricks. Duplicated in the other room, so. Three no trump bidden made at both tables. Is why did we end up blocking the diamond suit? Oh, the the opponents have pitched too many diamonds. But what if what if West had all the remaining diamonds? I don't know. And it's not like we can blame this as a VooGraph transcription error, since the players them were just getting fed information from the players' iPads. I guess it didn't matter, right? Declare could always win the King of Hearts and play the Queen of Diamonds. Uh, never mind, never mind. It was it was all fine. It just looks funny to me. Blocking the diamond suit. So heart we had a we had a claim that was rejected. I don't know what the problem is here. There it is. Claim goes through. Is this a speed ball? We think that the players have seven minutes aboard. Oh, you're, you're saying that because the, the claim was rejected? Yes, it, it is an ACBL event, so you're going to get some grumpy old people rejecting your claims. And by old people in this context, I mean people who are over 25 years old, because we do have some old fogies still competing. One no, 14 to 16 on the 13 count, off shape. <laughs> Is Emma on tilt? <laughs> Emma might be on tilt. Wow. Three no trump down three in the other room. We might have a duplicated contract. Is is three no trump really that bad? Oh, it is. The defense can take the first seven tricks on the natural low spade lead from West. Ooh, al although after Stamen, maybe West leads a. What does West lead after Stamen? We could see a diamond lead. That might be even worse for Declare, actually. <laughs> a diamond duct. Um, 
spade to the jack, spade to the king, spade back. I, I guess East never gets their ten of clubs in that line. Okay, there's the diamond lead, kind of as predicted. North has showed four hearts on this auction. South has showed four spades, so West doesn't really feel great about either major suit lead. Declare is not going to be too thrilled about this diamond lead either, though. I was thinking diamond duct might be the most sensible start. But to declare, this could just look like a normal fourth best diamond lead, and diamonds might not be the right suit to play on. Maybe clubs is more likely to work out. Hmm. I wonder if the other room had the same auction with the no trump opener in the south. I don't mind the upgrade, but I probably would not do it. I could bid both my suits naturally, a diamond heart a spade, be a little happier about how the auction's gone. So we'll see what Emma decides to do. She likes to win the ace and probably goes after clubs now. If she was planning on working the diamond suit, I think most likely she would have ducked this trick, try and induce the diamond return. Club to the nine's an interesting first round finesse. I might be more inclined because we know East is going to win the club and return a diamond, almost no matter what's going on. So I kind of expect that a club to the queen followed by a club to the jack might be more profitable if we were going to attack clubs. We can see that none of these are actually going to work. But Declara does not know that. So diamond back to the king. Ooh, what if we see an unblock of the Jack of Diamonds here? Is that possible? Then Declare makes it. Declare just has four diamonds and four hearts. Well, Declare will end up taking five diamonds and four hearts. That would be a actually incredible way to swing the board. Is West really thinking about that, unblocking the Jack of Diamonds? Well, obviously. He's in the tank about something. <laughs> Do it, corn! Scream the fans. Nope. He ends up doing the right thing, playing low. This might set off some alarm bells for Declare. She may well work out at this point that the, the diamonds are splitting. It's not going to get her to nine tricks, but if the defense is not careful after that, they may only end up beating Declare one or two. Yeah, she's probably thinking, you know, like, what could West possibly have been thinking about? And if she comes to the conclusion that the only thing West could be thinking about there was unblocking a diamond. That must mean diamonds are 3-3, three, three. but 
Nope. She continues to go after the club suit. Which East must be thrilled with. East is in with the club king. Knows that there's absolutely no future for declaring clubs. There could be some UI considerations here from East's perspective. I, I think ethically East is kind of required to lead a diamond right now. But a spade is of course the, the best play. Yeah, there's, there's an enormous amount of UI, and okay, East does play a diamond, which I, I will say, if, um, if Stella was thinking about that, then kudos. It's, East-West can still do the right thing, find a spade switch to the king, cash the ace of clubs, play a spade back. Um, But West elects to switch to hearts. <laughs> At this point, Declare knows that she should just cash out, so that has to be what's what's gonna happen here. Unblock the heart ace, cash the two diamonds. I guess pitching clubs from the dummy and hope that there's some giant defensive accident in the spade suit. Probably not gonna happen. But it'll still earn her side a sizable swing, considering three no trump went down at the other table. Three imps, but every imp counts. I'm still wondering if North-South would do better if South just opened a diamond. North had a nine count. Good five card suit, good four card suit, but regardless a nine count. So if it did go a diamond, a heart, a spade, a no trump, they might have ended up in one no trump. Rather than this kind of like awful three no contract. So 25 imps is now the margin, and we are a third of the way through the segment. 10 boards to play here, 15 more in the fourth quarter. We'll see if North elects to upgrade a 13 count as well. He does not. Emma had a pretty good 13 on the previous board. This is not a very strong 13 count. Club of spade over call, probably a no trump by south. You could bid two clubs, but three no is your much more likely game contract, so I like a no trump. Let your partner know about the spade stoppers immediately. It's 4 three, three, three. What more could you want? I think I would prefer to have two, three, or even four four-card suits. That way I would be insured of being able to set up at least one of them. <laughs> Points, extra suit length, better texture. <laughs> the list goes on. West elects to lead a heart. I don't know how I feel about the heart lead. I, I don't think I would lead a spade, but I would probably lead from my king, queen, jack of diamonds. Y'all tripping? You have opened a no trump on the north hand, 14 to 16. I respect it.
Maybe the heart bleed's okay. If your hope is that you can set up hearts and use one of these diamonds as an entry, maybe that that does make some sense. I would be more worried about giving to Clara their seventh trick with the heart lead. Well, anyway, what's so what's happening on the hand? Claire has three clubs, two diamonds, or t three clubs, two hearts, a diamond and a spade for seven already. Declare should be able to set up a second spade. Yeah, leads from queen 10 do need very little from partner to work, but leads from king, queen, jack need nothing from partner to work. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's like a matter of inches, I guess. You're not, both are probably okay. <clears throat> Yeah, we're trying to beat a no trump. But some of the times we just want to beat a no trump by letting Declare play the hand themselves and being a little passive, forcing them to try and set up their own tricks. I could imagine the heart giving up a trick on opening lead, but it's very difficult to imagine the diamond giving up a trick on opening lead. It's possible, you know, like, North has ace, ten, third, and south has nine, fourth, and diamonds or something. But hey, hey, you're back. And took a little longer than I thought. Yeah, no worries. Um, um, what are we on here? So, question you're on lead against this auction a club, hey. a spade, a no trump all pass, and you have queen, ten, eight, fifth, and one suit, and king, queen, jack, fourth, and another suit. What do you lead? Uh, so presumably those are diamonds and hearts? Yeah. Uh, I mean, which one is which? Uh, hearts is five. Uh, so I would probably leave the king of diamonds. It feels like there's a very good chance that there's a four card heart suit on my left. Sure. Yep. Um, how many imps did I just cost myself? No, not nothing. I mean, it, it didn't matter what happened on this hand, but I was I was curious. We were getting questions from Chad about what to lead. I, I said King of Diamonds. Um, yeah, I think if I had slightly stronger hearts, you know, if you reverse the suits, I would lead a heart probably. Uh, right, but you're you're basically saying you would lead from King Queen Jack fourth, then from Queen Ten Eight fifth. I would consider it much closer if the suits were reversed, though. Is mm -hmm. kind of what I meant. Okay, right, right, right. Yup. Yeah, so all of a sudden, uh, this went from a blowout to, uh, you know, to a couple of game swings with a lot of boards left. Oh, well, you missed it. <laughs> you absolutely oh, missed there, uh... it. Was there a thing? There was a thing that happened here. Yeah, I'm going to quickly pull up the scorecard for people who are just looking in. So, um, one table bid and made three no trump. Kolesnik picked up 12 imps, and then on the very next board, uh, there was a bidding misunderstanding at this table from Jacob and Emma Beautiful. to reach six spades going down. Um, I see. So they closed most of the gap in the last segment, obviously. No. Yeah, Wait. it's it's twenty five right now. Um, oh, you know we came on. Um, Kolesnik was well behind, but then they just scored a bunch of. Uh, they must have just scored a bunch of swings, I guess. Right. Right. Oh, I see. Yeah, they lost uh, thirty four imps on the first four boards, and then had a bunch of large swings their way on the rest of the set. So we kind of, when you and I came in, it was their low water mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Diana, I agree with that, but 
you know, this just feels like an auction where North is going to have a four card heart suit so often, right? South is often going to have four spades. North didn't pull to two clubs. South at least has some spade length because he overcalled the no trump. So I think everything points to North having some heart length, which to me changes the odds. You know, on the auction one no all pass, a heart lead would be totally clear. Mm hmm. I think you're right. There's still going to be a lot of holdings where a heart is better than a diamond, but on this kind of bidding, uh, I'm very wary of a broken heart lead. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's still 25. Uh, the other table has bidden made two spades in the west, which looks like a pretty big result to me. North-south are making three of either minor. I see, so, uh, I mean, I'm looking at the hand they went for 500, and it can't be a misunderstanding about East possibly having a strong three club overcall, but with two aces, it's also a weird three notes from Psyche. Yeah, I'm not sure what West was up to on that board. Where they went for 500, I don't remember this one. Uh, Finn, it went a strong club. Finn bid three clubs on King Jack 10, six of clubs, and Zach bid three no with two aces and three little clubs. Sure. Yep. And it looks like in the room that you're watching, um, they got to six spades, which was not successful. Right. I said two cash losers. Yeah, there was a, there was a, I, I think Emma took a bit too aggressive of a call with three spades over the three club bid, but then they had kind of a exclusion misunderstanding. Eh, I don't mind three spades, you know, you do have a solid raise, the ace queen of clubs are, you know, at worst they're tricks, even if they're not fitting partner. Yeah, I, I would be concerned though. It's just like it looks as if partner's going to over evaluate spade shortness on this hand, given the three club bid. Well, I don't understand why North took the last push there, right? I mean, it looks like Emma didn't realize five clubs was exclusion, and like, by the way, who can blame her, right? Normally, exclusion would be a jump. Right. Um, yeah. But whatever it is, she bid five spades, and her partner decided not to respect her. Uh, you know, her decision not to cube at five diamonds. So, you know, it feels like that was mostly on North. Oh, uh, absolutely. I mean, you should get to five spades and then five spades is a very difficult contract to play. Um, so he may have gone down in five as well, especially if he took the same yeah. line of play. Um, but yeah, I didn't see that. But okay. Uh, yeah. Looks like a push on this board to spades is going to make uh, they have two diamonds, a club, and a heart loser, so probably three. Uh, it does not look like North South are gonna conjure up any tricks out of nowhere. Yeah, I was thinking like this hand feels like North South should be able to, well, North should be able to show their minors and find this double fit sort of thing and compete to at least three clubs. Um, but if uh, North it, isn't it, opening, it, it's hard. It seems, yeah, it seems very conservative of North not to balance with Chino Trump. Right, yeah. And that as well. I, I would be concerned about the vulnerability, you know, like West did, mm. or East did open a diamond, but you're right. It, it yeah, feels true. bad to not take a call on that hand. That's why I would just open in first seat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, very short honors. Your suits are weak, I think. You know, I, I think if your partnership is, like, very tolerant of light openings, it's fine. But it's really, uh, it's really pushing it. All 11s. All 11s, any seat, any color. Yeah. 
if the, if that's your partnership agreement, absolutely. Yep. But if your agreement is that like vulnerable, you're allowed to use your judgment. I think this is the hand where it's totally fine to use your judgment. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, using judgment is totally okay. Sometimes. Yeah, so you, obviously, if you have the agreement to open every eleven, then South knows a hand like this is in the picture. So. Yep. You know they're. Yeah, you know, they're they're gonna temper their aggression. Uh, in that context. Mm -hmm. Cats are so psycho. I know you think all cats are psycho, but some more than others. <laughs> mm -hmm. So how do we... I, I, I guess the... You're just cold if you lead a club to the king right now, aren't you? This king of hearts play could cause you to go down. Um, so if you lead a club to the king and it loses, there's really very little the opponents can do at that point. Right, they can play you another club, but then they have to give you a rough slough or play hearts. And your hearts are just yeah. good enough that you can deal with any 4-1 break. Right, the uh, 7 and 8 of hearts are really big cards. Mm hmm I mean, there's probably a decent argument that North has North never has a stiff heart here, so you're probably okay. You could have gone King of Hearts, Heart to the Ten, mm -hmm. and that would pick up four hearts with North. Like, North was on lead against two spades and didn't lead a heart, so. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe this was safe as well. Yeah, the, the club play. Since you're going to have to do it eventually, doing it right then... Uh... You know, knowing that the opponents are going to be unplayed when the club is offside does seem better. You have no pitches available. Mm -hmm. Right, like, even if you, like, he did end play South into leading clubs, but if South had the club ace, they could just give a rough slough, and you have four hearts opposite four. You get to pitch a winner, basically. Mm -hmm. um, right. Assuming that he had a diamond left, which it turned out on this hand he didn't. Wait, unless I'm... No, never mind. You just throw it. It was fine. It was fine. Oh, yeah, what he did was fine. What he did was fine, but I think the other thing is better. <clears throat> anyway. So, diamond, heart, spade. Depending on agreements, I mean, we now know that East has at least four diamonds, but this could show an unbalanced hand. Um... So West does yeah. elect to be a little aggressive with three diamonds, maybe? I think so. I mean, your hand, your hand is so, so strong. If partner has a couple of aces. Yep. If partner can have, you know, jack fifth of diamonds, and as long as they have aces outside, the trump weakness isn't really, you know, isn't really going to hurt you. You'll still just make five diamonds routinely. Mm-hmm. The other table did reach five diamonds. They're off three aces. Um, right. This table, they get to three now, which... I mean, at least they right-sided it. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. have shorter clubs on lead. Yeah, but South also heard them bid all of the other three suits. Yeah, everything that was not a club, yeah. Yeah, ace, nine, eight, four. It isn't usually that attractive a lead, but... Uh... It's true, they did pinpoint the weakness. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. Never mind, West wasn't having any of it. I was curious if the clubs were gonna block. Low, mm -hmm. deuce of clubs, 10 jack. North probably mm -hmm. actually can work out not to play the jack, right? I mean, North knows if partner did lead from a four card suit not to play the jack. Yep. Any four card suit, mm -hmm. but it could be three, you know. On That's this not auction. true. Not any four. Is that could be three on this auction? Well, you'd also look really stupid if partner had king queen fourth. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I'm not sure I like four spades. What is four spades? A cubid in support of diamonds. I remember, like, West Hand doesn't need to be that much better for, uh, 
You know, like West is already committed to five diamond. It doesn't need to be that much better for six to be playable. Right. No, no, no. I was, I was wondering if he should have bid something like four hearts to maybe offer a choice. Um, yeah, maybe, although partner could still only have four hearts on this auction. Like if partner only has four, it's like, ooh, four, three heart bid. That sounds great. Do we really think East can have three hearts if they don't bid it over three diamonds? Maybe. Maybe. Would you bid, you know, if you were four, three, four, two, would you be bidding three hearts there instead of three no Trump? A partner could have, a main partner couldn't really share my cards. I don't know. If you were four, three, four, two with like King Double to Clubs, you might just grab it. I always feel like partner can bid three spades if they're is a transfer to three yeah, yeah like to, to get back um but yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah maybe that's true maybe you could still have a three card hard suit anyway it looks like they thought four spades was a cue which is fine um and they've reached the same five diamonds as at the other table yeah and as long as uh the ace of clubs didn't go away on a heart the defense was always gonna find the three aces yeah Yes, they found them very quickly by leading one and leading two the other. <laughs> exactly. So now Declare going to be a little careful. Spade to the king, make sure uh, she doesn't go down two if ace third of diamonds is with north. Um, mm -hmm. But this will be a pretty quick claim here for down one. And still 25 imps. We had a lot more action in the first two segments, and now things have settled down a bit. I mean, especially after those first 24 imps, 12 each way were swung. Not too much going on in this match. So Kolesnik still has some work to do. As you mentioned, there are about two game swings out. And the other table is really speedballing. They're uh, they're all you know, they're four boards ahead. Oh, okay. Maybe they're also hungry. They want to go get dinner. They didn't eat in the break. Okay. Um, four hearts down, one at the other table on this board. Looks like a decent contract. It needs a spade guess, both of which are offside. But how are we going to get there? So it's going to go pass by south. Is West and opening two spades? I mean, East West are going to do pretty well in spades. They're going to lose a spade, a heart, a club, and two diamonds, and. Uh... Yeah, that's eight tricks. It's only, it's only 500. Well, yeah, but four hearts is not making. <laughs> right. So that is... Oh, wait a second. You can't do anything. No. I mean, the he club's, the he... club's set up. but Right, but the opponents can just lead a heart uh, at some point. And, yeah. you know, given North's hand, they probably will. Right. You have multiple chances to do it. Yep. So West passes, heart by north. Uh, so if you made that hard to one of the miners and kept the hand otherwise uh, the same, you would absolutely open a no trump, right? Uh, how many do we have? We have 16. 16. Yeah. Yeah, let's Four do things. it. Hey, V8. Hey, Running With Scissors. Hey. Welcome, welcome. So, south will presumably just raise and north will have a somewhat difficult decision uh, whether to just make a game try since they're aceless or bit a game because they have six strong hearts and, you know, overall a pretty good hand even with that stiff king hey marksman master pro uh so i was curious if south was going to do this bid drury with the 
as a past hand. If you have like a good I, system over it, maybe you can get away with this. If partner can like ask how good your Drury is. Yeah, I think I've played Drury methods where three card constructive was just one of the options, and obviously that's the uh, that's really good here. You know, if it showed a full three card limit raise, I wouldn't because one of the queens rates not to be super useful, and my hearts are seven third. You know, I don't have a. Uh, I don't have a singleton, so I would just make the heavy single raise and not the ultra light three card limit raise. Yep, agree. But yeah, if you have good jury methods, we can show every possible range. Uh, <laughs> and you're pretty happy. So whatever it was, obviously North uh, North didn't carry. Is probably going to be a game over anything encouraging. Yep. I mean, okay. I guess you go up with the ace and lead a club, right? That has to be the best play. You mean a spade? No, I mean a club. Isn't your only chance to make this uh, not losing all four of your aces? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, oh, yeah. Wait, four aces? No, no. I mean, you have Red a spade, guess. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would hope to like not lose the ace of clubs, and you know. If you do, maybe you get two pitches on a club and a diamond. You don't need to guess the spade. Right. I see. So you're, you're saying it's declare to just lead a club at trick two. That is somewhat yeah, sensible. Maybe, maybe you steal the king. And when you don't, maybe you get two pitches on dummies, queen of clubs, and long diamond and never have to worry about the spades. Hmm... You know, the opponent's sure they can make you guess the spades on this kind of play, but like, at least they're doing it after you have some information instead of doing yourself a trick, too. Yeah, if, if you think that you have a decent chance of stealing a club trick, then that does seem like the correct play. I. Even if you don't, though, the Queen of Clubs is a useful discard for a spade when the diamond's split. Right. You, know, you never need to rough a spade, so there's no uh, no urgency there. Gotta play the ace of clubs now. Otherwise, you don't get it. I mean, you, you could lead the two of diamonds, but that would be a big play. Why don't you get it? Do you get squeezed out of it? Actually, the two of diamonds doesn't even work. Yeah, you, you get squeezed if you don't take it. Yeah. East does find the ace of clubs cash, so we do get a push. Bunch yeah, of push boards this set. With no three tricks in, uh, it does seem like you're probably just supposed to lay down your race at that point in the hand. Yeah. <laughs> so no swing. We have six boards to play left in this segment. Uh, 21 boards left overall. Kolesnik does need to... Oh, looks like they may have picked up a little bit of something in the other room here. Five hearts doubled already in the scorebooks. Yeah, so on the previous one, the auction started with a strong club by North. Um, their methods and played them into bidding a game. I was like, it's a pretty good game, but, you know, like single dummy, it's not terrific with, uh, you know, with three guaranteed losers. Worthwhile, but not, uh, you know, Amazing. Uh, this could be a swing for Zhao, actually. I mean, the diamonds come home, so you're making a slam. Uh, is Kolesnik yeah, the they... team Big Kev is on? It is. It is the team that Big Kev is on. How did they not make a slam at the other table? Well, you play a diamond to the ace. Oh, no, that's not... Wait, what? Yeah, I was, uh, I was thinking you safety eight? play the diamonds, which actually makes the slam. Maybe they safety played by playing King of Diamonds time to the Jack. But that's not safe, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, the, the Ace of Diamonds is the classic safety play against a 4-0. Right. You can lead to the King and back to the Jack, or you can just lead to the 6 or 8 on the next round and, uh, and eventually force out the one you're missing. 
Yeah, so, okay, a diamond, two clubs, two hearts, double. Showing spades and, uh, you know, and, and a little bit of a club fit. Yep. Aggressive, but, you know, your hand is perfect for it. Four hearts by north, four spades by east. The south has a decision to make. Um, I mean, south has very, very strong hand here. Right, and especially over a natural diamond, we probably do something think... more than just five hearts, don't we? We queue five clubs. I, would, I think I think you got a bit five clubs. I mean, north is unlimited, right? I mean, not not fully unlimited, but remember, your two hearts can be much much worse than this because you're going to be under pressure so much of the time. Yeah, so we we queue five clubs for sure. Yeah, partner. If partner trusts you, he'll cue five diamonds even on his hand being so weak. How do you feel about just bidding key card? Like, oh, uh, double? Oh, I think, I think it's fine. Yeah. The double feels like it is penalty. Oh, I don't like the double. I think key card's a perfectly sensible choice. Yeah, I, I think it's one or the other. That That would be my selection. This isn't going to go so badly yeah. for north-south. I mean, they collect 500, I think. Two diamonds, yeah, think a heart, and three clubs. And generally, you're more prone to go in for key card than I am. Yes, yeah, so now north. Yeah. Well, King of Hearts, we're going to take the ace as north. We, we better, so that we can put our club on the table. Three, four, five. So they're going to get 500 here to lose a few imps. Right. This is a good play by north. Zach, you know what to do defensively. South doesn't. So. Of course, if Zach hadn't doubled five hearts, he would have won a couple of imps for his side. Yeah, but look, Zach can't help himself. Yeah, no, 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 I think, uh, yeah. I think doubling things that go down isn't really his thing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope one day I, mean, I get Zach on stream. That would be wonderful. Yeah, so North, um, like, obviously he knows that his partner's short in spades, but, you know, South Double is just, uh, you know, like kind of a, a point count blob that wants to defend rather than bid on, you know, I think he's pretty happy with the singleton and three trumps to take that suggestion in two aces. Right, I mean, we don't really know that South is short in spades. South could have a doubleton. So... Maybe, but I think West guaranteed five spades and he's jumped to four spades, right? Sorry, he didn't jump to four spades, but he's bid four spades. Like, the... It's possible the opponents are in a 5-3, but I think the vast majority of time they're in a 5-4. Yeah, but partner could have done something if they had a stiff spade, if they really wanted us to bid. So. I mean, I think it turns out South made a mistake here, but, you know, North, like, North, I think, can be pretty sure South has a singleton spade, and when that's true, that probably makes South more likely to have, uh, you know, a really soft hand that doesn't want to bid on. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah, they, it's all uh, it's all the teammates' fault when you yeah. double a contract and it makes should have made an overtrick. I, I don't understand why it didn't make an overtrick. Yeah, I mean, I think here um, they were gonna play five hearts undoubled, probably. Yep. You know, the double in the other room seems a little random. Um, yeah, I think I suspect Claire probably just didn't see the safety play. Mm -hmm. Are you sure that yeah. we're going to be in five hearts and not six? If South does cue five clubs, North cues five diamonds. South might just picture the same hand with the queen of diamonds instead of the jack. Well, I think North should cue five diamonds, but it's possible that he'll, uh, you know, like. I always like to say, don't decide, you know what the hand is, but this is the kind of a, the hand where people decide they know what the hand is and, you know, feel a little regretful about having bid four hearts on the previous round and don't cue bid thinking they've shown more than they have. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. 
like that's terrible losing bridge because your partner is still unlimited and they know what they have so you know just be a good boy and follow instructions right but it is the kind of hand where people you know overthink and you know overrule partnership discipline and when it happens you miss slams yep Yeah, just, you know, I think a really important principle is, uh, um, like, when your partner's unlimited, don't worry that you have less than you promised. Just trust that they, uh, you know, they asked a question and you should answer it. Mm -hmm. So, pass, yeah, so pass, still... neutral, two hurts, probably still... majors. Well... I don't know. Do you, yeah, do you, do you treat it as a one-suited hard hand or as a ten cards in the major's hand? I'm a heart bitter personally, but I think it's, you know, certainly possible that showing both majors will work out. I would probably show both suits. See I think if you eight. reverse the... If you reverse the suits, I'd be a lot more inclined to do it because then over... If, if you assuming that you play two clubs showing the majors and partner bids two diamonds saying no preference, now you can bid two spades to show the disparity. When you bid hearts, it doesn't show the disparity. It's just, you know, bidding the first thing. Mm -hmm. See ya. Thanks for stopping by. You have Sam Pock emotes. Nice. What is this? Also a little surprising North didn't make a light negative double here. You know, assuming that it doesn't force them to any particular level, uh, when you've got more than half the deck, it seems like you're supposed to be uh, doing something when the opponents have likely found their spot. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. With heart shortness, I... I probably also would have tried a negative double. Makes some sense. Maybe you can be worried as North. I, I mean, you do have the King of Hearts, so you probably aren't that worried. But if partner has some sort of fishy one no trump bid, third seat, white, red, the opponents, mm -hmm. this could be a heavy two heart bid that checks out and the opponents could miss a game. Yeah, it's possible. Um, but unlikely. Oh, by the way, I forgot. I'm just seeing this now. Your request to analyze a hand, you never sent it. Oh, because I haven't um, put it into the bridge base yet. Ah, uh, okay. I was going to do it at the break, but then I got back so late. Yeah. So I'll uh, do it sometime shortly, and then either at the segment break or at the end of the match, uh, you can get into it. Sounds good. So two clubs, a diamond, and a heart to come for north-south. This is going to be a swing to Zhao. Another five imps, probably. Yeah, I think, right, you know, your point about the negative double maybe, like, helping them get into a game, you know, would be bad, but, you know, a game swing is ten imps, two of these is five, and I think you're much more likely to lose a bunch of five imp swings than any one given ten imp swing when partner was joking with a third seed no trump. Mm -hmm. Yep. See you running with scissors, good luck. Oh, I, I don't know if you're playing. I know a lot of people are playing in the event. I guess I just assumed. Yeah, it's yeah, it's true. We, uh, we don't know exactly what all the aliases are here. All right. Uh, yes, of course, the build a hand for analysis tab is under account. Just where, just where I expected it to be. Right, yeah, no, I, I, it took me a while to figure it out as well. So this is from Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Left card for self. Oh my god, this, this, this is horrible. <laughs> He's like 50-something, basically a youth player. Not from round these here parts. Oh my 
my god, this hand editor is infuriating. He is a youth player for sure. Scissors is the best. Oh, we have a bunch of Scissors fans. <laughs> you transformed into two expertises on floor zero, which doesn't seem ideal. You better get a bunch of like prepareds and dagger throws then. Good luck. Scissors is the best, he made Minsk. What is Minsk? Is that a system? One club by east. We have 13 count, south passes. Diamond by west. Probably a spade by east. Only the most genius bidding system ever made. Take a look at this. Sorry, I'm on this hand editor. Um, really? All right. I don't know if anyone saw my bridge winners thread about the stupidest bridge system ever, uh, ever designed. I can just put the link in there. Oh yeah. So um, Phil Clayton um, actually came up with a really good stupid bridge <laughs> system suggestion. This needs to be illegal. Okay. Um. So, uh, transfer preamps where you, uh, you know, the CEO open is one over. Uh-huh. <laughs> nice. So, you know, two hard, two hard shows a week, two in diamonds. <laughs> it actually might mesh well with my, uh, you know, reverse precision. One club is all your limited openings and everything else is strong. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to pick something out. I'm gonna see if I can get uh, Ben Christensen to play a dumb system with me in a speedball. Perfect. <laughs> While fielding questions like he's in the well. Kind of a funny push at uh, one spade in both rooms. Is this gonna make? Oftentimes one level contracts are somewhat difficult to play. Trump lead was good by south, it looks like. Preventing declarers kind of cross rough. Yeah, so I put this hand in the viewer, and now that I'm looking at it, I'm 100% sure it's the problem that I was given, and the bidding just makes no sense whatsoever to me. <laughs> yeah, stupidest non legal system. No, it needs to be ACBL legal because I'm going to be playing it in a speed ball as the $250 charity uh, milestone reward. Why did Declare... I will say I have not been impressed with this East player. Um, I don't know, you know how experienced they are, but um, it seems like th there have been a sizable number of uh, blind spots, I would call them. Um, Declare didn't need to hop up with a spade ace to rough a club. They could have easily won the nine of spades in hand um, to rough a club. Pete Hollins had a good one that was legal in Australia. Every bid described the spade holding. Well, it needs to be ACBL legal, <laughs> which is a problem, generally. Yeah, the biggest thing is, like, um, things that are just, like, totally, totally ambiguous, um, I guess, are considered purely destructive. Right. I'm not sure, like... 
I think, you know, if something just shows one spade, but, like, could have nine hearts, um, that's probably not legal. I think it has to affirmatively show something about some of the suits. Mm -hmm. Or something about your strength range. But, like, these, like, nebulous, you know, a diamond showing a diamond void or more is legal, but I'm not exactly sure why. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the provisions caters to that, but I'm not exactly sure how it's worded. Mm Mm-hmm. This is really nice defense by um, by north south. So now we get to put a diamond on the table, and looks like east is gonna have a bit too much difficulty making this one. East is going to have to lead hearts out of their own hand, and North has a secondary diamond exit. So diamond to the jack, East roughs, can cash the nine of clubs. Which I guess means that, um, The play in the spade suit really cost East missing that opportunity to take the free spade finesse into the nine and then rough a club with a high trump. Um, so, Rob, I've got this hand loaded up to the key decision point. It's a defensive problem. I'm not sure when you do that. Can you only see two of the hands? How can you, like, do this, you know, You can, so when you it, like, export it to the hand viewer... You can um, click on a person's name, and that will show it single dummy from their perspective. Cool, okay. So do you want me just to screen share with you when the time comes? Uh, yeah, sure. Excellent. Hey, that worked. Well, that was a (laughs) much-needed swing to Kolesnik. They're back within 30, 29 imps, but still a lot of work cut out for them if they want to be USA 1 for this coming cycle. Three boards left in this segment, and then there will be a short break to compare. Um, So pass, pass, a diamond by north. It feels very counterintuitive to me that you open this hand a diamond, but you don't open that hand with 5-5 in the minors and an 11 count a diamond from earlier in the set. This one's in third yeah, seed. I mean, it's in third seed. The other was red-white, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the, all red, maybe? I forget. It was definitely vulnerable. You know, and it had a stiff king and a queen double tin here, at least. Two of your queens, uh, almost some length. <laughs> I mean, okay, but this looks like a five count to me. <laughs> yeah, partner responds one of a major. You pass and you're extremely happy about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would open the other with a lot of my partners, but, like, I think it's totally fine to open this hand playing with anyone. You know, the, the conditions are really different. The hand is different, but the conditions are really different. Mm-hmm. So, and now I think the question is... Do you bid when it comes back to you? As north? I think probably not, because south could have bid two spades. They basically know the whole deal at this point. Yep. Yeah, and there, I don't see any reason to get more involved. You did, you did everything you could. You found your diamond lead. You obstructed the opponent's auction in third seat. Um, you gave yourself a chance to find your spade fit and partner can make an informed decision in that suit. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, and so does Jacob. Now, I I probably would have done something with West over two clubs, right? Like, West has a good hand. Um, yes, I agree with that. Although, you know, East 
Yeah, so East didn't overcall, but that doesn't necessarily, like, obviously it limits the hand. It doesn't necessarily show weakness, weakness. Sometimes it just has diamond length and, uh, you know, didn't really have uh, a great thing to do on the first round. I mean, here he's got a full 14 count. You know, he just had a hand that was too weak in his, uh, in his suit to overcall. Well, a big win is, like, you bid two diamonds, right? Because you're showing a good club raise. Your partner bids two hearts, and you find your heart fit. Right. Um, and here, they just scored up a game in the other room. Yep. Yeah, I mean, like, when, when you bid two diamonds and your partner um, does whatever they do, then you've showed a limit raise in clubs. Maybe you find three no trump, which has some play, or... Uh, how did the game make in the other room? I suppose declare um, conduct two diamonds, and then then what? Um, you can make sure that North never wins a trick in the round suits, right? You know, South has the uh, the third club in the Ace of Hearts. Yeah, the Nine of Hearts is kind of the big thing. It's not a great game. I don't think the game would make. I mean, it did, but I, I don't think that game should be making as long as North has showed diamonds. Um, if you get a diamond lead, it feels like the defense... I mean, North, North is kind of squeezed on the last three clubs, right? You know, he can pitch major suit cards, which are going to help Declare, or he can pitch diamonds, and now Declare is going to have the time to knock out the uh, harder, you know... Um, Maybe pick off the spade. Maybe. Yeah, I, I, maybe. Um, maybe. But let's see if uh, the other play went. This is so the opening lead was. I see. So North opened a precision diamond. East overcalled a no trump a little aggressively, but I think pretty sensibly. Zach, knowing that they were going to have no fin, oh. knowing that he was. Probably knowing that his problem, as awkward as it is here, would be even worse on the next round. Mm -hmm. um, West bid two clubs stamen, East bid two diamonds, and West, you know, with this nine count opposite a uh, strong no trump over call, just bid three no trump. So South, knowing that his partner had one minor and that East had over called a no trump after hearing a diamond, tried the jack of clubs. Was that really bad? I forget the club spots. Um, well, it didn't blow out that, but now it went jack of clubs around to the ace. Now he belatedly put a diamond on the table, ducked twice, but um, the hearts were set up before the defensive diamonds were. Mm. You know, it gave Declare uh, um, a tempo. But doesn't Declare oh, still actually, lose two diamonds, two hearts, uh, and a club? No. No, because on the run of the clubs, North got squeezed. Uh -huh. North had to pitch all his diamonds and got squeezed in the majors. Yeah, but... but I think South... Uh, okay. South South pitched a heart and that exposed North to a squeeze. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah. It, it felt like good defense would probably beat three now. Um, yeah, so actually... It's a little tough, though. So South won the club and now had 4-2 in the majors, and North was down to three spades, two hearts, and a diamond. So South exited the nine of spades, which was fine, went around to the ace, and now Declare cashed the king of hearts and played a club, and what do you want South to do? And South has to keep the nine, right? So he pitched the nine of hearts immediately, not realizing that would let Declare pitch the ten. But if he pitches a spade, dummy pitches a spade, North can pitch his diamond. Now when you play the last club. What do you well, I guess no, now it's okay. You can pitch another spade. And there's no squeeze. Yeah, so that was uh South just didn't realize that keeping the losing heart was necessary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a cute hand. It's a kind of unusual squeeze that I haven't seen much of. Yeah. Usually, uh, usually you need to keep your winners to protect partner, but here you have to keep a loser to protect partner. Mm-hmm. 
Well, it's not like a loose. It's like a, a threat or a guard. Um, yeah. But okay. Uh, next board: two no, three clubs, three diamonds, three no. Looks like a pretty quick. How many more tricks is Declare taking? I mean, the, the Heart King is protected. That's the only real important thing. Well, after this play, Declare has the rest. So this will be one imp back to Zhao. Fast claim there. And we're on to the last board of the set. 23 imps separate the two teams. There are going to be 15 boards to play after this one, after this final deal. Four hearts in the north. Looks like it might be pretty easy to reach. North opens a heart, south is going to show a four card limit raise, or better. I mean, this should be a four card game for us. If if North is not really opening most of those hands that we've looked at earlier, then the South hand feels game forcing with the four small I think even, even if you are opening aggressively, I think vulnerable, uh, I would just treat it as a game force. Yeah, also. But you know, you, 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 have, you have East King King. Yep. So we should see probably a push. The defense has two spades and the ace of hearts. Um, club goes away on the diamond. I guess maybe you could bid two no limit plus in a partner. You know, bids whatever he does, saying he would reject a limit raise. Uh, maybe you give him some deference there, but I think I would be really tempted to uh, bid a game regardless. Okay, two no trump limit plus. Three clubs, any min. Hmm. Yeah, so we used to play that bidding three hearts rejected and three clubs was a minimum of acceptance yep. to give you a little room to gather information, which I uh, which I really liked. Yeah, that is still my preference. So three clubs, any minimum. Uh, this could be a swing. Emma does need to decide if her hand is good enough to play game offset a minimum, and she says yes. I think if I were North, I would show that as a minimum acceptance, so it's possible that he was planning to bid over a sign-off and just had to go through this to limit his hand. Mm -hmm. I, I agree as well. I mean, it's a 13 count. The trumps are so good that yeah. I would treat it as a minimum accept. Yeah, so you might have to just go through the sequence to do that. Mm -hmm. So as East, I, like I would weird. probably lead a spade. I, I don't think any other lead has a bunch of merit, has any merit. Um, that's my thoughts on it. Like, you have so few values and you need to beat this game. Spades is your best chance to set up tricks. Yeah, and maybe... You would lead a trump, like, figuring that your hand is flat, and with these couple of honors that, oh, as they did, um, that, you know, your tricks are going to come to you, and the most likely chance for the declarer to get extra tricks is by roughing. Yeah. And, you know, I think a spade is, if you lead a plain suit, I think it's pretty clear, but a trump lead also uh, has the potential to work out really well. Sure. <clears throat> Well, this time it doesn't matter. Declare just yeah. gets to pull trumps. Now that the club hook has pitching. happened. You don't even need it. You can just play three rounds of diamonds pitching it. Right. Yep. So this will be a push. We will go into the break. And assuming the scores are accurate, I, I have to imagine there's no way that there's like a missed score unless someone, unless there's some sort of like error on the part of one of the players, like a misclaim or something that gets spotted and appealed mm -hmm. later. But it seems like it's going to be 23 imps for Zhao. Uh, Kolesnik had a small win this segment. They won by five. No one voted on the prediction. Shame on you, chat. 